Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey racing fans, welcome back to the final Kentucky Derby edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. The draw is complete. We're all set for Saturday afternoon. Let's get right to our thoughts. Our top choice and key horse in the trifectas this year, first, second, and third slots, will be number 11, Exaggerator. The California-based horse, we had our questions about whether he could get the distance. The mile and a quarter may be a little bit pushing it, but he is coming into the race so well, he will be our top choice in the 2016 Derby. Trainer Keith DeSormo has done an incredible job with this horse, and it was really illustrated in the last effort when he pulled away from the field in the Santa Anita Derby. Yes, that was in the slop and with a fast pace, but his turn of foot is electric, and he has proven he can run over a fast track as well. Yes, Keith Kent DeSormo has had questionable rides in the past, but he is riding incredibly of late, probably as good as anyone in the country. I think he has a big shot to get his fourth Kentucky Derby victory, of course, with Real Quiet, Fusaichi Pegasus, and Big Brown before it. Number 11, Exaggerator, our top choice in this year's Derby. For second, let's go with number 3, Creator. This horse coming off an Arkansas Derby win for Steve Asmussen, the new Hall of Famer, and jockey Ricardo Santana Jr. He will need a perfect trip like he got in that Arkansas Derby, but it's not out of the question with Santana in an inside draw. If he can avoid traffic early, he should be rolling late. Love this one's turn of foot. Creator, number three for second. For third, let's go with number 19, Brody's Cause. Brody's Cause was my top pick before the draw today, but that 19 post really hinders his chances. I do love the way he's trained. I love the way he closed in the bluegrass last, uh, last month, but I just can't put him on top anymore given that draw. I still will use him on all tickets. Number 19, Brody's Cause, the son of Giants Causeway for Dale Romans in the third spot. For fourth, we're going to go with the favorite, number 13, Nyquist. Yes, this horse could definitely win the race, but 3-1 to one is a little too short for me, and I'm a little concerned about being inside the two speeds. If Mary Gutierrez can relax him off of the pace of Danzig Candy and outwork, and he gets a perfect trip, he may be tough to beat in the lane, but pedigree concerns and the way he finished in the Florida Derby have me thinking an underneath finish is more likely. I'm going to put him in the four hole, and we can really score out if we can hit the trifecta without him. Don't let me talk you off number 13, Nyquist, but he's not for me this year at that price. And then for fifth, we're going to go with number four, Motom. This horse could do better than fifth with a perfect trip, but he hasn't been able to get that perfect trip yet. Wouldn't it be a great story, though, if Corey Lannery could pull off a perfect ride when many were calling for his heads after his rides in Louisiana? Motom has a great turn of foot with a big pace up front. He could be much better than fifth, but number four, Motom, will be our pick for fifth. If you're looking for a few others to throw in there to pick up some pieces, well, why not number 17, More Spirit? Not a big fan of using this horse on top, but his sheet numbers suggest that he fits in this spot. Bob Baffert always dangerous here, and he should get a good trip in that 17 post. I think he's going to be a little closer than some might think and has a definite shot to hang in there for a piece. How about number 10, Whitmore? How can you go wrong with Victor Espinosa in the Derby? Well, I don't think Espinosa has much of a shot of winning this race, but I can always pull for trainer Ron Moquette, and I think he has an excellent shot to pick up the pieces as well. And then a horse that I'm on that many others aren't, number 16, Shagath. I think a lot of more people are looking towards my man Sam. Chad Brown's kind of hyped that one up a little more. He ran great in the bluegrass. But I think Shagath, so it's a great trip in this one. He's been trading great at Churchill Downs. Coming into the race, look for Shagoff to run better than most people think. Get a great trip. Might do it like a Normandy invasion did a few years ago when it looked like he might win the race and then hung badly. But I'm going to use Shagoff on all my tickets as well, mostly underneath. But he could really blow things up. I don't hear many people using him on top at all. And then I like a late runner number sudden number two, sudden breaking news to have a shot for a piece as well. Not crazy about the connections being able to win this race and with him being able to time it perfectly, but I think Sudden Breaking News has a nice spurtability late, great turn of foot. If they go fast up front, maybe number two Sudden Breaking News could get in for a piece. So there you have it, number 11 Exaggerator. Won't bet him the win, don't think the price is big enough, but we'll use him in the first, second, and third slots in the trifecta and exact the box him with several of our top picks as other top picks. Number 
in the two slot, number three, Creator. And number in the third slot, number 19, Brody's Cause. And then number in the fourth slot, the favorite, Nyquist. And of course, number five slot, number four, Motom. I would recommend using all of them. I will probably won't use Nyquist in the horizontals. I'll use the other four, maybe Shagoff as well. But there's plenty of value to be had even if you like Nyquist on top. Don't let me talk you off him. He's been a win machine. And I'm just a little concerned about both the distance and how the trip will go for him. Anyway, big weekend ahead. Tomorrow we go to Santa Anita Park for opening day. Friday is Oaks Day. Saturday we got the big day, the run for the roses. I'll have a couple appearances on the radio on ESPN Radio in Vegas and ESPN Upstate South Carolina uh, on Friday. Check me out on Twitter if you want to follow me and listen to me on those. Scott Shap 34 is my Twitter feed. Anyway, good luck to you in all your endeavors this weekend. Let's have a big weekend. Hopefully someone pulls down that superfecta. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend.